Hello, I'm Wendy. Today uh, my little video is all about an easy watercolour tips for mixing greens. My tip really is to use um, a particular blue and I've got a handy little palette here um, to show you the blue and to show you some um, colour mixers. The blue I'm using is Prussian blue. It's a blue quite a lot of people might not be too familiar with. It's a very cold blue. It's got a yellow in it, so it's a greeny blue, and so it lends itself very nicely to mixing greens. So this is Prussian blue. If you want a very stronger colour, there's not quite so much water with it here, so you'll be able to see that. Now you've got another blue that you could use. You've got ultramarine. You can see the difference there. Ultramarine is a warm blue. It's got lots of red in it. And um, if you use this for mixing greens, I don't find it quite as easy myself. And then the third one that you could use is cobalt. A lot of people do use cobalt for mixing greens. It's looking quite like the ultramarine, that one, isn't it? It's supposed to be cobalt. Perhaps I'll find it. Yeah, there we go. You can see the difference there. It's not as warm as the ultramarine. It's not got so much red in it. So that's a good option for mixing greens as well. Now the Prussian blue is really quite a scary colour. It is so strong and you can easily use too much of it and you'll say, well, I wonder why she was recommending this. It's horrible. You've just got to be very, very careful with it when you're doing your mixing. Um, use a small amount of the blue and now if you want a nice spring green you want to put a nice this is a lemon yellow with it and you see I've got much more of the yellow with it than the blue and you do get a lovely spring green you can keep this here and add some more yellow to it and so on and a really good idea is to do lots of mixing like this and as you mix and you get your nice colour mixes that you like, then label them because you'll forget what you used. But you can see the lovely range of spring greens there. That's using some of the Prussian, tiny little bit, and a lemon yellow, a light yellow. I've also got a warmer yellow here as well. Um, there may not be much of a difference using that. Let's have a look. Um, because this is a warmer yellow, it is going to be a warmer green. Let's have a look and see how this is looking. It's quite a difference there, I think. Let's put a bit more of it in there. This is what you've got to do, you see, you've got to play around with them. I think they look quite nice. I think they're lovely spring greens there. They're quite bright, but they've not got the garish look that you can get sometimes using tube greens. Now let's not forget raw sienna. Raw sienna is a yellow. It's a very warm yellow. If you can imagine that with the Prussian blue, um, it is going to be quite a lot warmer. We can use raw sienna with the Prussian blue. Just a tiny bit of it. <laughs> I've probably used too much of it there. To get some warmer greens. You can see you need um, a lot of the raw sienna and very little of the blue. So we keep going and look at these lovely greens now. They're very natural looking greens, I think. And then don't forget as well that you can use all these colours together so that it's limitless, really, the possibilities you can use. So we've got, let's try a bit of the blue in there. Let's put some of the raw sienna. And let's put a little bit of this um, nice yellow here as well and look at the different greens that you're getting there. Can you see? Can you see the different greens you're getting there? Another tip on this mixing is don't stir them all round like a pudding, for goodness sakes, because you'll end up with something that's all the same. And if you're doing a painting, then you want your greens to be looking different in there. You want some different hues in there. So if we look at some of the greens we can get from just this little mix. Look at this, you've got a lovely bluey green, you get a warm green, 
and if I put a bit more of the yellow in we can get this lovely yellowy green as well. So just using the Prussian blue, a couple of yellows, you could just use one yellow and a raw sienna, you're getting some lovely colours, lovely natural looking greens and that is the main tip that I'm um, telling you about in this video. One other thing I do want to talk about though is getting some of these greens much darker. So my favourite combination for getting a very dark green is my Prussian blue and anybody guess what the other colour might be? Well it's burnt sienna and here we've got some burnt sienna. These are pan colours which I don't usually use, I usually use tube, I usually use tube colours but this is such a handy little palette to show you. Now look at that for a dark. That is a little bit on the cold side I think you can see but if we add more of the burnt sienna. Now I think I went into the burnt umber there didn't I? The first one. There's burnt umber, there's burnt sienna, they're very similar and you can use both. Um, I think the, if you use Let's try that again. If you use the Prussian blue with here, I'm not used to this palette. If you use the Prussian blue with the burnt umber, it's extremely dark. There we go. And a bit more of it in there. I do use that sometimes, but generally I use the Prussian blue with the burnt sienna, which is this one. Um, I just think it's a nicer combination. I'm used to using it, so um, I have a good idea how much of each one to use when I'm painting. Again, there's not a great deal of difference there. Um, but you can see these lovely dark greens that you can get with this combination. And of course, what you can do is you can put some of your other colours in here. You can adjust them. You can adjust them with a yellow. There we go. That's lovely. You can adjust them with your raw sienna. I do that quite a lot. That could give you a dark green. Um, that's gone really light, hasn't it? This is what happens. Let's try again. Let's get rid of that. And what I'll mix here is I'll mix the Prussian again with the burnt sienna. So we've got nice it's a bit cold. You see it's a little bit cold so here I'll use some of the raw sienna. So you've got a nice dark green but it's quite warm. That's a nice green as well and so on. So you could just go on forever doing these mixings and get some of the nice greens and the colours. Give yourself a chart, write it on there for what you've mixed up. Um, I think Prussian blue is really a brilliant blue for mixing greens with. Um, Prussian blue, I tend to use the Cotman Prussian blue and I'll put a link in the description box below. I, I tend generally to use the Cotman colours and I find the artist colours can be quite different. Um, so I tend to stick to a certain blue so that I can sort of understand it and know what's going to happen when I use it in my colour mixers. So I've been using the Prussian blue Cotman. I've been using the Cotman Burnt Sienna, the Cotman Raw Sienna and the Cotman Yellows. Um, I've got a light lemony yellow and a warmer yellow and they're the colours that I would use for mixing all my greens. Occasionally I might put a red in there, a complementary to green, um, possibly in some shadow colours but I'm not too keen on doing that but I will use that occasionally. So I hope that's been of help to you. And what I'm going to do now is show you some of the pictures I've painted in the past using some of these colour combinations. And then hopefully I'm going to make another video painting a simple little picture um, using some of these greens. Now in this picture of Blackthorn I needed some spring greens. Um, so I used the Prussian blue and if I remember correctly it was cadmium yellow pale mainly. I might have used a tiny bit of raw sienna with it. 
This is a detail from a larger picture of Love in the Mist, and the greens will have included raw sienna and burnt sienna to give the mid-tones. A good variety of greens here in the snowdrop picture, but using less, I think, of the light yellow. And finally, here's a detail from a landscape painting I did of the Priscelli Mountains, an area close to where I live. You can see the foreground greens. I've got some real darks in there, so that's going to be the Burnt Sienna and the Prussian, with some of the other greens mixed in. The midground is a very warm green using a lot of raw sienna, while the distant hills are cooler with more of the blue in them. If you enjoy my videos, and I enjoy making them, then do subscribe and then you won't miss anything that comes up in the future.